Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. That's right, leaves. Leaves in the yard, leaves everywhere. And this time of year, lots of us have them if we didn't get them picked up earlier. I have a solution today. I thought you might be interested in it. For a couple of hundred dollars, I'm going to be able to put some accessories on my lawnmower and pick those up. Okay, if you're like me, you love trees, but you hate to have to deal with those leaves. And so this year, finally, Teresa twisted my arm hard enough and convinced me that we needed to get something to pick those up. We don't really care to pick up our grass, but we do want to pick up the leaves. And so the solution for that was to buy these two things right here. I'll leave a link below in the uh, description to show you where we source these. We got them from Amazon. We are not uh, affiliates. We would not get paid anything for sharing that with you. We'll just share with you where we got it. But for, uh, let's say, about $20, we got this bag. And it will hook to this. And this will hook to our X304 John Deere riding mower. And so, this is a big uh, holly woven bag. You're seeing it for the first time just like I am. <laughs> oh, it's long. I'm glad. It's big too. And it has a drawstring on it right here. And that drawstring will let us uh, cinch it up to the attachment that goes on the mower. So, oh, that's great. And so I'm excited about that. That'd be a lot of leaves. And we were warned when we researched this that you could not pick up grass with these uh, attachments, that they were not made for that, but they will mulch your leaves and they will pick them up. And if you're like us, we like to mulch our leaves every year and we like to put them in a compost pile, let them sit for a year, and then we put them on all of our raised beds in the garden and in our container garden. And so it really works well for us. I paid, a, a, as I said, about $20 for that other, for that bag. And I think I paid $169, if I remember right, for this attachment right here. And it came from Hartville Hardware. Um, and it's a John Deere shoot is what it is. It's not, uh, it's, it's the first half of a bagger system. So let's open this up, see what we got. Careful. I don't want to cut anything that I'm not supposed to cut. knife for safety and this is genuine deer uh, because I want it to attach directly to the to the uh, chute of my mower deck for what I understand it's supposed to clamp right on there and fit I did read in comments from someone that I might actually have to drill a little bit to, for it to receive this pin right here. Uh, but that would probably be the one thing that I might have to do. The good part about all of this is, of course, that there's some real nice instructions. But you get a brand new pair of blades for your mower. Brand new pair of mulching blades. And I really didn't buy it for that purpose. Uh, I, I really didn't, wasn't shopping for that, let me put it that way. Uh, we have good blades on ours, good mulchers, but who's going to turn down a good pair of blades? Uh, and blades are probably worth $20, $30 a piece, and so that sweetened the deal and made it a little bit more palatable on the amount of money that we spent, so we got our blades. But, looks like this thing will just strap right on, clamp right on, fit in there. And this, if I'm not mistaken, goes on this way right here. Uh, 
Looks like it fell down right there. Probably just straps, clips right over like that. I don't know for sure, but it looks like it does. And then this bag just straps on right here, clamps on right here. And so I'll get the mower out. We'll get it up in the uh, driveway and we'll see if we can't get this thing mounted and show you how this thing works. The uh, chute part that hooks up to the deck, you raise this up, this plastic deflector, then you pull the metal one forward and raise it up. This one connects right here. Looks like there is a hole there for it. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. It goes over the top in there. The instructions say about this back strap back here. Okay. Boy, that's going to be a a real stretch. Okay, got it. And this one too, probably. There we go. Stretched on. Pretty stable. Okay. Lastly, this one goes on. Clips on right here. This goes over there. There we have it. And now, to connect this bag, there doesn't seem to be a top or a bottom. So, put it over here. On. Shouldn't come off. We'll take that out there. And we'll take it out and we'll give it a run and we'll give it a try and see how it works.
let me tell you that is one bag full right there only one bag full and it gets heavy and to put that in perspective there you go those are four foot pallets so that's a four before so I'm gonna have a lot of leaves I still have the over half of the side yard on the front right here and the other side over there and then all of this backyard so we'll have a lot of leaves for our composting and I'll tell you another thing this thing gets heavy it gets heavy and this thing starts pulling down like this and so I've got to figure out something I'll probably try and figure out something to mount right there and come over here to hold this thing up like this but in the meantime I won't I'll just and I may not do it there I may do it right here on these holes right in here I could even do it right here but I need to build something to hold that up like that and as you can see it's loading the chute full of leaves it works another thing that I learned that I'll tell you about is on my particular deer you have the capacity to push down this lever right here and lock the the deck up and I and I've learned that it picks up better at least with lots of leaves like I have it picks up better with the deck all the way up in the highest position and man it really picks up well it doesn't pick up as good and they pile up in the front if you have it lower and so maybe if I would have gotten after this earlier it would have worked better but those are the things that I've learned needs a little support back there in the back one of those bags will get full and heavy very heavy and one bag will do at least two-thirds uh, you know if I pack it down maybe a half of that four before pallet uh, compost bin right there and so it looks like I'll be able to fill that one up and probably that one right there and it has like a third in it from last year and so lots of leaf compost so as you can see it's doing a pretty good job. It's not doing great because I have so much leaves. But after I go over it a few times, I believe I'll be able to pick them up. You can see that I'm picking up a pretty good bit right through here. So, does it work? Yeah. And I think we're going to be able to get all of our leaves up. So, thanks a million for coming along with us on our adventures here on Returning to Basics. We hope what we're doing is helping you. Leave us a comment. God bless you and have a great day.